Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract the audio from a video file. This is a video I'm making in response to a question that I just got for Practical EdTech Live. So let's go ahead and see how you can do this. Now, I'm going to do this in GarageBand, but you can use a lot of other tools. You can do this in Audacity, you can do this in Wii Video. But for this demo, we're going to use GarageBand. And you can see here I've opened up GarageBand. And we're going to start by opening an empty project. And so I've opened this empty project. And we're going to choose audio microphone and hit create. And this is going to give us absolutely nothing on our screen other than what you see here. There's no audio that I've imported. I haven't done anything yet. So the next thing I need to do is I need to go and import that video file. When we import the video file, we'll be able to extract the audio from it. All right, so to extract the audio, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our file menu. And from the file menu in GarageBand, we're going to choose Movie. And we'll choose Open Movie. And for the sake of convenience, the movie that I want to open, I already have on my desktop. But it doesn't matter where you store it, as long as you know where it is. It doesn't matter. Here's the file I'm going to extract the audio from. I have this MP4 file that I created yesterday. I'm going to extract the audio from it, and I'm going to click Open. And we'll see here the actual video. And you'll notice in the background that it started to create an audio track for me. Now that that audio track is there, we can close out this preview window. I don't need that anymore. Now, one of the things to note when I play this back, You'll, if you listen closely, you'll hear the metronome in the background. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how Seesaw's new Chrome extension works. So you hear that metronome in the background. You don't want that when you go to publish your audio file, because that's going to be really annoying to your listeners. So let's turn off the metronome, and now let's try playing it back. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to say, and now we don't hear that metronome. So, from here, if you want to get into more of the features of GarageBand, you can start to blend in some bumper music at the beginning or the end. You can play with the fade levels on other on the track or other tracks that you want to blend in. But for the sake of simplicity and just showing you how to publish this, now that I've created this file. I'm going to go up here and let's hit share, export song to disk, and let's call this one sample audio from video. Obviously, you can call it whatever you want to call it, and choose the file format. I'm going to choose MP3 and hit the export button. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And we'll let GarageBand do its magic. And as soon as that's done, I'll have an MP3 file on my desktop where I can listen to just the audio from the video. This is a great way to turn some of your flipped lessons you may have made into short little podcast episodes or any other video where you simply want to have the audio only. Now I should point out, you should only do this with videos that you have the rights to do this to. So only do it with your own videos or videos where you've explicitly gotten permission to do this activity. Don't do it with videos that are copyrighted or that you haven't gotten permission to extract the audio from. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.